Okay, welcome seniors. Welcome to your senior year and to English 12 um, for the first quarter. I'm Mrs. Layton and I'm really excited to be working with you this year. I love seniors. I love the senior year and um, I hope we work together well and that you can come with me, come to me for questions about both this class and if you have any questions about college or need some advice about um, future plans. Um, I look forward to working with you. I just wanted to point out a few features this, of this class. I promise most of my intros aren't going to be this long, um, but there's just a few things as we get started to look at. First of all, there's an announcement section at the top of your course. This has some really important information for you to look at. Here's my contact information and office hours. I will up the, update those each week and you can look and um, see when I will be online each day. There's also a new late work policy at our school. This is the late work request form and um, this is a school-wide policy. So if you need to submit something late, I would first of all suggest that you don't do that. I would like you to try your hardest to get everything done within the week. That will be the most beneficial thing for you. If you fall behind, um, there is a possibility of making up your late work. You fill out this form for each late assignment and I will get back with you within 24 hours. Um, that doesn't count weekends, so keep that in mind. If you submitted it 8 p.m. on a Friday night, I probably won't get back with you until Monday. Um, but I will open up that assignment and once you submit that in a timely manner, I will grade it again and you'll get 80% of the grade you earned. So if you uh, got an 80% on assignment, you'll get 80% of that 80%. So definitely worth your while to stay on track and not submit anything late, but if that happens, um, it's not the end of the world, you can still submit the assignment. So let me know if you have any questions about that. This link has some helpful tutorials and writing videos, and then this is very important to note, the required materials for this class. Each student needs to have a computer, obviously, with a webcam and microphone. That will be very important on some assignments because we will be recording ourselves. Um, that's part of English. It's part of the standards that we need to assess. So make sure you have a webcam and microphone. And you also need a hard copy of The Merchant of Venice for this quarter. I'm going to get it, get mine. It's up here on the shelf. Excuse me. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's green. It's the Folger Shakespeare version. If you came to an orientation, you will have picked this up. But if you um, didn't come, or if you're a statewide uh, online education program student, so you're just taking it part-time, you will need to um, purchase that book. And there's a link here um, to pick up the book for, it's about $5, or you can go to the office in West Jordan and pick up a book. So, But make sure you have that right away because we're going to get right into it. And some of the questions required that you have this hard copy, so make sure you do that. The next thing is um, the navigating the course section at the top of your course has some really important stuff that some other courses don't have. This has a link to the No Fear Shakespeare version of, a, of A Merchant of Venice that has um, the actual text that Shakespeare wrote on one side and then on the other side it has um, a translation into more, I guess, modern English. So if you're having trouble reading the text and understanding it, go here first because it's um, it makes it really breaks it down and makes it really easy to understand. Then you will have this this link here has an audiobook version, and this is the best audiobook um, with some really good acting. So I love to read Shakespeare while listening to it being performed. It just makes more sense. It's a play. It should be acted out. Um, it means a lot more. It's more fun and engaging if you can listen to it. So I would highly suggest doing that. And then just some other helpful links. 
Okay, let's get into week one before I talk your ears off. I might have already done that, but week one, basically some housekeeping and some introductions. You're going to watch um, how to succeed, succeed in English 12, introduce yourself in this forum. The assignment you have is to take the STAR reading exam. Um, there's a student survey. I want you to read the syllabus and take this quiz. Then you'll join Actively Learn and join our class, um, English 12, Actively Learn. Um, we'll be using that a lot. You'll participate in this class KWL by opening that up and you'll see what that is. It doesn't take a ton of time. You'll read the plot and, and context and plot for Merchant of Venice, take a practice quiz, and then extra credit would be adding me as a contact in Google Hangouts. So kind of a lot to click through, but not too time consuming overall for week one. If you get it done ahead of time, please move on to week two. Make sure that you have read and listened to the first act of The Merchant of Venice in week one. All right, well, I look forward to working with you. If you have any questions, of course, I'm always here, so just let me know, and have a great day.